Hey, Grand Rising, it's a beautiful Monday. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to share this with you all that um, in regards to technicians, um, there's a um, program, it's nationwide, it's called Crime Fleet Watch, right? So with that, just be mindful of these technicians. I forgot to mention in another video that um, you call Comcast or eight or Xfinity. And oftentimes, it's not the real Xfinity truck. It looks like it, painted, um, but there's always some deficiencies on the particular truck. I noticed with AT&T, because um, living in the islands, see people, are, they, they always see the name, because, you know, I'm, oh man, I can't say a whole lot. But <laughs> they'll see the name, and um, they'll think, oh, this is an AT&T truck, and they're always at that box, or a gray box, green, gray, blue box, whatever it is. That's when they, in their um, siphoning communication and um, rerouting people's um, information. So under the Crime Fleet Watch, they have fleets of cars, similar to the actual company cars. So what they'll do is, so you call Comcast, or affinity, or you don't have to call them. You see a truck in the community, you think they're working on the wires, you know what I'm saying? But in reality, it's the police department, you know, the sheriff department, or some kind of intel, some bullshit. So the AT&T, and I, when I got so good, I told one of my neighbors, this is before she moved, and the one who was connected to my aunt, um, I told her, I said, that's the police right there, that's it. The county, the county sheriff, or, or whatever it is, the crime task force people, whatever. She didn't believe me, and I said, "When have you noticed an AT and T guy wearing a red shirt? Red shirt is Comcast." And see, most of these technicians who work for a company, they know the difference. They know their uniform for that year, or for that quarter, whatever. You know what I mean? They have certain colors certain designs, even if they buy one, because you can buy these shirts online, you know what I mean? As easy as anything. So don't trust, I'm not trying to say to be like um, conscientious about everything, but you have to be mindful. Cause like I said, they'll call, they're like you have an appointment and then they'll intercept that appointment, listen to your calls and then they'll have somebody come out pretending to be that technician, like they had an, a cancellation um, at eight, nine, but then they will contact the actual company and say that you canceled your appointment. Been there, done that one, you know what I'm saying? So um, they do it with AT&T trucks. They do it with um, Comcast or Xfinity. They do it with the fire department. And I noticed, uh, like, we're here with Sacramento, and if you know about fire trucks, I mean, I'm not too, I mean, I'm not savvy with the fire trucks, but I noticed some deficiencies in these fire trucks. The the actual fire truck with the, that belongs to the certain, um, um, you know, assigned to the certain, uh, what's it called, firehouse houses? They're so distinguished. All you see is a red truck with the big thing in the front, big numbers and Shit like that, but oftentimes that's not actually the fire department. That is a fleet watch, uh, crime fleet watch truck painted as such. Because I remember I called the fire department and to get some information, they're telling me they don't have no report. I said, Oh, okay. One guy come dressing up with a captain hat and some bullshit, and you know, it was weird. The fire trucks do it, these bogus ambulances. There was, um, I have pictures and videos for about two years, if not, maybe more. The fire trucks will um, come across the street, sit there. No calls, no sirens, just sit and give instructions to this guy who he thought I wasn't home. But I'm looking out the window, you know what I mean? So I didn't have a car, they messed up my car. So just be mindful, the fire trucks, they're, they're not the actual fire truck. If you know that this is suspicious activity, call the, the department and report it. 
not immediately, but to document how long they've been sitting there in that truck. They always pretend to go and do a um, a check on a patient or whatever it is, a resident, whatever. But oftentimes, like where I live, the house across the way was a surveillance house. You know what I'm saying? So they'll pretend they're an elderly patient who's always sick and shit like that. Their, their whole setup was across the street. I know who owns the, the property too. It's just, so just be mindful. Of fire trucks, ambulance. You know you can find out the contracts for the county, different districts, different areas. You know that's very important. Um, what else? Uh, let me see. Fire trucks, cable technicians, phone companies, and also too these. Um, they have these um, supposedly DEA or undercovers and these random cars who who are allegedly, um, they dress up as technicians too because they have them in one of my neighbors. She had, she moved in. The same guy that I've seen before, um, he was, uh, you know, supposed to be, uh, supposed to be an investigator they had this um, staged uh, abandoned car truck bullshit. And the high patrol, they have um, also fake or fleet watch high patrol trucks. It's not really the high patrol people. It's not, so just be mindful. And if you ever get pulled over, pull in a lighted area. You know, even if you have to go down the way some ways and they try to say that you're trying to evade the police. No, you're not. You're going to a safe, evade, safe, um, well-lit area. And hopefully there's cameras in the vicinity as well to record the transactions. Um, uh, the same guy that I was saying, he dressed up like a cable technician. I was like, is it that same guy? See, that's where they jammed my phone, my other phone. They had all the evidence on that phone. And um, I should never sent it in, but damn, that guy, he was, he was, uh, they were a sh like a badge in the front, looked like a sheriff or undercover. And then they came as a technician, putting up satellites on my neighbor's patio. I had filed an injunction, but um, it didn't go nowhere. And I have the pictures to prove it because when I soon as I filed an injunction, they were notified, and she immediately took down that, that um, satellite because she knew everything. She would turn up her volume. She would say, like, yeah, she has no underwear on. Now she know all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, so long story. But just be mindful of these technicians, the so-called um, cable technicians, these fire trucks, the ambulance. Because um, I, I got really good to know what are who is contracted as an ambulance service within a certain county or area? Now my son's in school. Listen to this bullshit. Listen to this bullshit. Hold on.